Hi kiddos, it's Mrs. Carrera. Today is Disney Day, so I'm wearing my ears and my shirt. All right, I'm gonna read a story to you called But I Want It by Dr. Laura Schlesinger. Okay, and it's illustrated by Daniel McFeely. Come on, Sammy, we're going to the toy store. I'd like you to help pick out a stuffed animal for your cousin Rachel. It's her second birthday. And there he is. You can see Mother in the doorway. Wow, yelled Sammy. I'm going to the toy store. Cool, awesome, let's go. Come on, Mommy, hurry. Oh, he's very excited. Do you guys get excited when you get to go to the toy store? Mother looked at all the toys. Oh my, she said. Look at how many different stuffed animals there are. I wonder which one will be just right for Rachel. Sammy, why don't you decide which one to buy? Oh, that was very nice of her. Look at all the different stuffed animals. That's a lot to choose from, huh? But Sammy wasn't listening. I want this gorilla and this giraffe and this dog and this parrot and... Oh my goodness, look at all the ones he chose for himself. He's supposed to be choosing for himself or for someone else. I'm sorry, Sammy, but we came here only to get your cousin Rachel a present, said Mother. We won't be buying anything for you today. But I want it, Sammy screeched as he pulled on the toy Mother was putting back on the shelf. I want all of them. Oh, is he acting very nice? He's not acting very kind or very proud, is he? Honey, calm down and tell me why you want them so much, Mother said. Because, sniffed Sammy, having them all will make me very happy. Really? said Mother. Let's see if that's true. Oh. So she's asking him why he wants them. Why do you think he wants them? Oh, Mom, he said, Sammy, I'm so happy with all these animals to play with and sleep with. I was right. They make me very happy. Good night, Sammy, said Mother, turning off the light. Oh. Did she buy them all for him? I wonder. Mommy, Daddy, I can't sleep, Sammy whispered. What's the matter, honey, asked Mother. I don't know. I just can't get comfortable, Sammy said sadly. Come on, Sammy, his mother said gently. I'll take you back to your room. He has the big giraffe in his hand. Why do you think he can't get comfortable in that bed full of stuffed animals? Mother tucked Sammy back into bed. Here, maybe Mr. Gorilla will help you go to sleep. There's a gorilla and there's a giraffe. And look at all these stuffed animals in his bed all the way around. Mommy, Daddy, I still can't sleep, Sammy cried, coming into his parents' room again. Mr. Gorilla was no help at all. I need my old Mr. Cat, but I can't find him. There's just too many stuffed animals in my room. <laughs> but Sammy, Mother said, I thought you said that if you had all these animals, you'd feel happy. Sammy thought for a minute. I did feel happy for a while having them and playing with them all, but now I don't care about them. I miss Mr. Cat. Why is Mr. Cat so important? Mother asked softly. Look at him carrying that big gorilla. It's almost bigger than him. Because Mr. Cat is always with me, explained Sammy. He took care of me when I was sick with the flu. He was with me when I was scared of the lightning and thunder. He's always there when I go to sleep and when I wake up. He really cares about me. I want Mr. Cat. Oh, there he is when he's sick. And look, he's up in a treehouse with lightning and thunder. And there's Mr. Cat right there. I think his dad's trying to help him get down. Here he is, said Mother. He was pushed away under the bed. But what shall we do with all these other stuffed animals? Look, she found him. What do you think he's going to do with the stuffed animals? Hmm, we'll see. Mommy, asked Sammy slowly, are there some children who don't even have one Mr. Cat to love and protect them when they're scared? Yes, Sammy, there are, answered Mother. I only need one Mr. Cat, Mommy. Let's find those children and give them each one of these toy animals so they can feel loved and protected, suggested Sammy. 
Yes, Sammy. Let's do that tomorrow at the children's shelter, Mother smiled. Oh, wow. And look, there's Sammy and his mom and Mr. Cat, and there's a wagon full of stuffed animals. They are donating to those kids so they can have a Mr. Cat, too. But theirs will probably be Mr. Lion and Mr. Giraffe and Mr. Whale. <laughs> so, honey, you see, it's not how many things you have that make you happy. It's how special something or someone is to you that makes you happy. Yes, Mommy. And I have Mr. Cat. I have you and I have Daddy. I'm very happy. There he is. There's Daddy and Mr. Cat and Mommy. And that's the end. So, I hope you guys like that story. And if you guys have a special something that you really love, make sure you hold it tight. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.